and self-defense, and we're gonna cover wrist grabs today. So we're gonna just start with the outside wrist grab. Again, outside wrist grab would be if you're wearing an Apple Watch or a watch, you know, where the face of that watch would be, this would be inside if somebody grabs me. So there's two different philosophies when you do them. We'll cover a couple different ones for the outside one. So outside one, if Mr. Neal grabs me, I wanna go weak link. So we're gonna switch sides here. So weak link is where the thumb and the finger meet together, okay? So this, I don't wanna pull, cause I'm not gonna go anywhere, especially going to the back of his hand, there's no weak link there. I don't wanna go this way and just try to get away, cause now we're in a tug of war. And if it's someone a lot bigger than me, a lot stronger than me, they're just gonna pull me where I don't, where I don't wanna go. So I wanna get away from here. Now, depending on the height, I may need to add a distraction technique. So I may need to kick them in the shin or kick them in the groin, cause I just want their brain to process, oh, that pain, so this loosens up a little bit. But today I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. So the philosophy here, again, one-handed, he's gonna grab strong, I'm gonna twist, and then I'm gonna pull, okay? So notice he comes forward, because I'm getting away from here. If I go this way, it's not gonna do anything. If I go this way, it's not gonna do anything. But if I twist and then I rip, I can come out this way. Now, if I need extra support, I can lock my fingers together, twist, rip, and then come. Um, and then always create space. Remember, I always wanna back up, because that space gives me time. Time gives me options. I can address what I need to do. Maybe I need to go back in and attack. Maybe I'm a little kid against an adult. I don't wanna attack, I need to run away. So, I, but I wanna know my options, where my escape routes are. Are there other people involved in this? Who's, where can I get to a safe place the quickest? And I need that time, so I need space to give me that time to consider my options. So the second variation is if he grabs the outside, uh, outside, yep. So all I'm gonna do instead of the twist and rip, I'm gonna go palm up, and now this one's a little bit more advanced, but I'm gonna bring my elbow to his wrist. So I'm gonna step in, my elbow stays close to my body, and then I just start pushing my elbow up. So a very common mistake is people do this and then they start trying to pull backwards. You, that won't work. So you have to step in, my elbow stays tight, and then I just lift my elbow up, then I can back up and create space. So if your initial reaction is just to start ripping and trying to pull away, you're gonna have to train this way to make sure that you don't wanna go away from the pull, you actually wanna go into the pull. Most of the time, if this person's grabbing me and they're pulling me, I'm gonna come this way anyway, so I just wanna step, turn my palm up, whip my elbow up, and then I'm gonna create space and then try to get away. So that's your, that's your outside wrist grab. Those are a couple different ways. Good luck with that, train hard, and remember, become better than you are today.